So I want to ask you the most important question. Um, I think that Hugh Jackman might be the nicest person I've interviewed in Hollywood. He's the best. Have, have you ever actually seen him get upset over anything? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. But I will tell you about Hugh. He can have quite a body sense of humor. And he can tell some kind of sexy jokes sometimes, which surprised me because he's so gallant all of the time and uh, and had me in stitches. I definitely haven't heard him do this before. Now I'm very curious. Yeah. Uh, no, but I just think it's important that because he's just such a nice guy. He's just the best. And I just yeah. want to sort of throw that out there that people realize that. I, I you know, Hugh is um, very quietly uh, just the most decent and supportive guy. You know, I, 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 as a first time director, female, wanting to do something original, that's hard for anyone to get off the ground. And Hugh in leveraging his, you know, movie star status to really support me completely, even before I had financing um, or the backing of a studio, that is a testament to his, his goodness and his, earnestness when he believes in something. Uh, you know, the, the interesting thing about Hugh though is he's so nice, but his niceness doesn't come from being purely pleasant to people. It's not a simple niceness. It is so well and deeply considered. I don't think I've ever seen somebody who studies human beings more than Hugh. Whenever I look at him, I can see his mind working. He notices everything, every micro gesture of every single person on crew. He remembers every single name and he processes everything. And I think that's why he's so good at playing uh, different characters because he's such an astute observer of human nature. Uh, I was so impressed by that. When we spoke last time, we talked a little bit about editing, but I I don't believe I was able to ask you about like, did you end up with a lot of deleted scenes? Like how did this film change in the editing room? Um, well, I, you know, I tend to know a lot about how, how I want the movie to look in the end. So no, there were not a lot of deleted scenes. Um, things get trimmed and air compressed out of it, but when you're also the writer and it's lived with you for so long, um, you know, whenever I work on something, I tend to know how I want it to look in the, in the end. Now, that's not to say that Mark Yoshikawa, my editor, who is genius, didn't find flourishes and moments and little workarounds for difficult spots that, that were totally inspired. I mean, I think his edit took the film uh, to, to a new level and uh, corrected any mistakes I may have made as a writer. <laughs> I am so curious about the Fallout series. And if you don't mind me asking, what can you tease people about it? I mean, it is just a gonzo, crazy, funny, just adventure and mind fuck like none you've ever seen before. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> everything, you, everything you just said sounds amazing. I already have to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna say again, congrats. I am so happy to help you support the movie. Thank you so much. It was so good seeing you again. I feel like we're old friends now. Let's, you know, come again at the, at, at the end of this. <laughs> Absolutely. Good luck with the rest of your interviews. Thank you. See you.